Hello, avid followers of Vertigo. Uh, today I'm going to show off a new enemy type. This is the humanoid robot enemy type. As you can see, he is a humanoid robot. He's pretty tall. Pretty cool. Alright, so I've been working recently on some interesting artificial intelligence for the fighting that happens between you and him. Because it's VR, you're really more involved in the combat, so I knew I needed to make something that was smart and felt like you were actually fighting. Um, something that was making decisions. So, I guess what I will do is mount a little attack against him. Let's see what let's see what he does when I start to shoot him. Oh, he's, he's shooting back. That's good. He takes a little breaks to... Uh, I don't have an animation for it yet, but this gun has to vent. His gun has to vent too. It's the same barrel. You can assume it's the same workings inside. And when we shoot him, he'll actually try to block it with the sword. And he's pretty good at blocking it. Especially if you spam the trigger and shoot in the same spot a bunch of times. And if we stop shooting him, he will slowly let his guard down. Watch. It's like, okay, I'm safe. That's what you think, buddy. And so what I can do if I want to shoot him in the head is... I, I probably want to shoot somewhere else to distract him. Oh yeah, I'm shooting over there, and then I can get him in the head. Oh yeah. Now, he has no head. He doesn't know where I am. Should I kill him? I feel like that would be kind of mean at this point. He's a little helpless. But, I do want to show you guys what happens when you kill him, so... There we go. He's down. Nice ragdoll. Should probably have the sword turn off because that is powered. That is plasma held in place by a magnetic field. Alright. Anyway, we're now going to switch to a different enemy. We have a new robot here. A brand new, fresh robot. Um, and I have him set to do something different. And I'm pretty sure he's going to walk around and chase me once I shoot him. Oh yeah, he is. So while he's shooting, he slows down a little bit and then speeds up more when he's, he's careful to aim. Also, the longer he looks at you, the more carefully he aims, and the more shots he, get up, he gets off, he gets more and more accurate as it goes on. If we look, if we get far away, we can probably see it. Let's see, it gets pretty... Eh, he's not very good at shooting. I should probably, should probably make him a tiny bit more accurate than he is right now. Uh, but the nice thing is... I have these variables that I can change really easily on, on the different robots and I can give them, you know, unique personalities sort of. I can I can make them better at aiming, I can make them better at blocking, I can make them run away or you know, run at you really fast. Um, I one thing I haven't done yet, which I will do probably tomorrow, is make them actually attack with the sword. They don't do that. You can get damaged by it if you run your face into it, but um, otherwise they cannot kill you with that. And he has got some nice animations for walking. You can see he rounds corners pretty well. Oh, when he's not walking through elevators, that is. Ignore that. That didn't happen. Let's watch him. He's very slow. Should have made him faster for this demonstration. Watch him come around this corner. Oh, uh, he got me. So I can keep... And when you shoot from farther away, he has more time to see the shots coming, so he's usually better at, um, at blocking them in advance. That's another thing you can change. Another variable you can change on him is um, how far in advance he actually um, starts trying to block a shot. So I could make it so he blocks a shot the instant it leaves your gun, or he puts his sword in position so he'll be able to, or starts moving his sword towards the position. Um, or I can make it so he only at the last second realizes he's about to get shot in the face. Okay, our third and final bot is actually wandering around randomly, and I hope he doesn't see me. He actually might not be able to see me. Did I tell him to not be able to see me? I think I might have. Yeah, he can't see me. Uh, but what I want to show off here is the fact that they're good at wandering around randomly. 
he is just picking random points, random waypoints, and then walking to them. Um, but you can also set a list of patrol points for them. They can patrol hallways. They're using Unity's navigation mesh system so they can navigate complicated areas, get through a maze. Uh, let's see. And I also made this guy faster, so when I shoot him, you'll know, let's see if I can hit him. There he comes. He's actually running towards me. I want to run away with both hands. Ah! What are you? What is your sword doing, my friend? And he's careful to stop and aim, you can see. Very good. And he also has to slow down when you're, when you're shooting him. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, got a wall behind me. See, this guy, this guy is a dangerous enemy. If I can get your head off. Oh, no. Just kill me. So, basically how it works is if you hit the head enough times, the head comes off, then they can't move. Or they can move, they just choose not to move because they don't know where to go. Uh, and they spin in circles and they're effectively defeated. Uh, you can also just shoot the body lots of times. You can shoot the gun off, or you can just shoot the sword off. All the arms and legs come off, only when it's alive. All the limbs come off. Um, you can shoot the legs off, then it'll it falls over and stay, has to stay in place and, and shoot you or wave the sword at you from there. Very interesting and dynamic enemy, which I think will add a lot to the game. So, that's him. Hope you enjoyed the video.